Hi everybody, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. This video may be a little shaky. I'll try not to make you too sick, but I have to hold my camera in order to uh, share with you my new cart. So um, last week I had shared a picture on Facebook and shared this cart that I picked up at Michael's. Um, I was watching Midge, who is Midge Mountain, Mountain Crafts here on YouTube. Hi Midge. And uh, she shared that she had um, a cart. And I'm not sure if it's the, from Michael's or not, but it's similar to this one. Um, and all her beads are on there. Now, I had my beads stored in my uh, uh, Jetmax cubes um, over here. These, I had all the drawers filled with beads and in one drawer you can only fit three containers of beads and then every time I needed a color I had to go underneath and you know it was a pain and I had like two over here two over there and they were all spread out um for the beads so I decided to do what Midge did and um this cart is called the Edison I think it's Edison cart um it's $49 but you can use a coupon and when I used, I had a 30% off when I bought, when I bought it. But, um, if you wait in when Michael's has their 40% or 50% off, it'd be better to get it then. Cause you could get a really good discount on it. I don't think $49 is too much because it's a sturdy cart and I put it together myself. It was very, very easy to put together. Um, and it's really, really sturdy. So, um, it only comes in black or white. And I decided to go with the black because most of my room is uh, like this expedite I had for years and um, it's black. And then I have like teal accents. But then again, I have white because I have my other cubes and stuff over here. Um, but I have this rolling cart from Ikea and this one I got in the teal color and I have that one over there from Michael's and there are woodblock stamps in there because I, I don't have very many and so I put them in there and I keep my um, Big Shot Plus on there so when I need to use that I just roll this cart up to my desk um, and then uh, yeah then I just turn around in my chair and use it when I'm when I'm at my desk so I have that color in that cart and I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go with the black. So down below, I have the beads I got from Hobby Lobby in the canisters still. These were beads from Michael's, but I shared some with uh, Jenny, who is Craft Creations. So what I did was I took them out and just put them in bags because I had shared uh, half of each one of those with Jenny. Um, in that little container is those little uh balls that have uh, sequins in them like this so I have those in there and then in these big Dollar Tree tubs I had purchased a whole bunch of those tubes from Michaels that had the different pastel colors in them so I got those and then a whole bunch of these and I had shared these with Jenny as well and that's what I have left um, then sorry you guys then this down here I have um what I did was I separated my containers into certain colors but those are all pearl and then I have this one here which is all gold there is some gray in there golden gray or golden um you know that that style that color and then these are red and then up here, I have the green. And then I have um, yellow in the small, because I don't have a whole lot of yellow. There's an empty container there. These are the purple, and those are pink. And then I have, in this, I have all my charms, well, most of my charms. And then this, these are silver beads, giraffes, uh, angels, turtles, bears, flowers, skulls. There's all different. There's a little uh, ribbon. Um, 
What are those? Those are mermaid tails, I think. No. What are those? They're hummingbirds. They look like mermaid tails, don't they? But they're hummingbirds. And then up here I have the black, black and silver. And then I have my blue in that one. So that's how I have them stored on the cart. There's so much room because you can just, uh, you know, I still have more room if I wanted to pile, pile them on top of each other here. Um, this was something I'm working on, so I just left it there. These are like um, my small spacer beads, bead caps, and stuff like that. And I have them in this little cute pouch that Gigi got me from Tuesday morning. Um, oh, and there's the white. Those are all the white and the clear beads in that container. Okay, so everything fits really good. And then on top, I have... Uh, my wire, my clips, these are rubber bands, my needles. Um, there's a little box back here. It's empty, though. Um, these are jump rings. Uh, there's some chains in here. And then over here, I have uh, these for my Chunky Charms, the key rings and the different styles and colors. And then these are those little hooks I just got. There's some clasp in here. There's some crimping beads. Um, there's some elastic wire for elastic, you know, um, bracelets. Uh, these kind of tassels and things are in here. These are bells. And then in here I have all my eye pins. And these are the ones that have the hook on them. You can hang charms on. And then these are the ones that just have a flat head at the top. Okay, and then in here, I have, um, these are all the jump rings I got from the Dollar Tree. So I have those all in there. And then I have the little hooks. These are the little lobster hook claws. And then I have this jar, which has clear, clear beads in it, which I didn't have room for. And then my tools are in here. So that's the cart, you guys. And I'm just kind of leaving it right here because I have a little area rug in my room. It's like a gray color. It kind of matches the walls because um, I had painted when I moved my room up here um, from downstairs and it's that grayish color. So I got this rug um, when I moved my room in here and it doesn't go over here. So this is very easy just to push, um, push out of the way and then roll back. Okay, so it's not in my way at all. And I'm just going to leave it there. And it's in front of like, these are all my stamps. Um, this whole row up here are dies. And then these are all stamps. And then stamps down below. And then I have these buckets filled with different stuff at the bottom. So that's that. Um, okay, so now I wanted to share my project with you. Oh, that these are all uh, beads and charms and that is all beads and charms they're all still on the packaging that they came in because um my things are full and i have no room for it so that's like the overflow they're just sitting in there um but here is my desk and i want to share these hopefully you guys i can share this without making you too dizzy because usually i do my phone overhead so these are the um tassels that me and Gigi were crafting the other day together and these are the tassels that I made I used the dollar tree yarn so pretty and I used the bubble gum beads and then this here is one of the claws I bought at Hobby Lobby I think it's really pretty and then off the top I hung a charm Let's see if I can back up a little bit so you guys can see so there's like a flower charm and then this color. And then at the bottom, I took, these are bows from AliExpress and I glued one in, and then one on the other side. So they're kind of glued together in the middle. So I made that one. This is the pink one. And the bows I use for the next three are the ones I got um, Tuesday morning recently. They're Maggie Holmes, those there. So, um, and then I use this bling to tie around the bottom. Um, of the pom-pom or the tassel I should say and this is the pink and white and it has like a flower um, in the middle of the flowers pink 
if I can get it so you guys can see it. So it's really pretty on the clasp. So that's the pink one. And then this one, it's kind of like a multicolored. I did a white um, yarn. I did some gold uh, ribbon around the top and then I used the gold bow on both sides. Um, that's just, uh, see where I have the gold wrapped and then you can see the top of the tassel right there. Um, and then I just multicolor use the multicolors um, beads clasp at the top and then this one has um, butterfly charm at the top so that's that one and then this is the blue one again I use this uh, bling I don't know if you saw that stuff that I had over here on my my um, cart when I moved it it was this stuff and that's what I used. Somebody gifted this to me and I just cut pieces of it off and um, used it to put around the top of the tassel. Then there's the Maggie Holmes bows and this one is the blue and white. And at the top of this one, there's an angel. Um, it says angels watching, angels watching over me. So it's a really cute angel. So those are the four um, tassels that I made. I want to make some more. They were so much fun. Um, Kimbo Creations, I think it was, or someone. Someone asked me to make a tutorial. So I think what I'll do is I'll try to do a tutorial uh, showing you how I did these. I did see um, Carmen. She did a video the other day, and she made some of these with the same dollar store yarn, and I didn't even know that she was going to do them. I just decided to... Uh, use the yarn because I picked it up and I wanted to put it to use and I made them and hers are almost identical to mine just that she doesn't have a bow um but uh, great minds think alike <laughs> so Carmen if you're watching she even did the same colors as I did like here with the green and the white she did one just like this and she did a pink one I'm not sure she had white in it but um they were just as um fluffy and everything like mine so um like I said, great minds think alike, right? Um, and then I made a card. I used this sunshine uh, paper pad from Tuesday morning I got last year. I used this um, stamp set. And this one is the most recent one that was released. And this was a gift from Gigi. So if you're watching Gigi, thank you. And then this is the card that I made. I made a slim card. Isn't it cute? I thought it was adorable and I did uh, layers here I did a stitch layer at the bottom this is a die that I have it comes in these different layers but I did it this is like a water like splash uh, water and she's got her this was a sticker from the sticker pack and so it wasn't the Sun and um, she's here she is colored up with her little tube on ready to go swim in it's so cute it came out really really cute and um, this is the inside. And it just says, hello, Summer. Really, really pretty. Um, I used this paper, this one here, this multicolored. That one is on the front, too. It's underneath. You can only see a little bit sticking out. Um, because I did the layers in the blue water paper and then the white. So I think it came out really cute. And that was the paper that I used. So, and the stamp. But that's it, you guys. That's what I have to share with you today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm going to sit here and finally craft. My husband went to work today, so I'm going to make a few cards and use some of the newer stamps that I purchased. And, um, yeah. So, thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you have a blessed day. And remember, if you want to get that cart, don't forget to use a coupon. Because you can use a coupon and you can get that cart really, really uh, at a good price. All right, everybody, have a great day. Bye.